Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design lateral steel members in the RAM frame steel post-processing mode. For this particular series of videos, we're taking a look at incorporating the requirements of the AISC 360-16 direct analysis method. Now for this particular video, we're going to be focusing on understanding how the flange bracing and unbrace length for your lateral steel members is calculated in RAM frame. Now in RAM frame during the steel design, the program will need to determine the axial and bending capacity for the major and ma minor axis of each of your lateral steel members. Now when considering the axial and bending capacity for your lateral steel members, it's important to understand that RAM structural system will assign default brace points on the major and minor axes. Now, in addition to the default brace points that are considered by the program, you can assign flange bracing or unbrace length parameters on a member by member basis, which would override the global criteria. After the steel design is performed, you can always review the major and minor axis unbrace length that were used in the calculation of the axial and bending capacity for each lateral steel member through the view update command. Now, in addition to the default brace points that are automatically going to be considered by the program, you can assign some flange bracing as a global criteria in RAM frame or on a member by member basis. Let's go ahead and turn our attention back to our sample model in the RAM frame steel post processor and take a look at that global criteria. To access the compression flange bracing global criteria, you're going to go to your main menu select criteria followed by flange bracing. Here you can specify the flange bracing for beams and horizontal braces along with columns. Now for this model, we're gonna keep all of the default compression flange bracing and review the options available for manually specifying the unbrace length for lateral steel members. So at this point, let's go ahead and click okay in this dialog. In addition to being able to specify the global criteria for flange bracing, you can assign flange bracing or unbrace length parameters on a member by member basis through the assign menu. To find those options, go to the main menu, select assign, followed by the type of member you're working on, and then you have the two options for specifying your flange bracing and unbrace length. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of those options. So here I could tell the program whether or not to assign the global flange bracing to particular columns that I'm going to select, or I can go ahead and manually specify that information here, again on a member by member basis. For this particular model, again, I'm gonna go ahead and keep all the default compression flange bracing from the global criteria. If you wanted to manually assign an unbrace length to any member, you can return to the assign main menu option, select your entity and go with unbraced length. Here you can see that the program will allow you to use either the global criteria or manually specify the unbrace length for particular members on a member by member basis. Now this option may be particularly helpful if say for example, your steel structure contains some extra bracing elements that are not present in your RAM structural system model. If that's the case, as long as that bracing conforms to the code requirements, you can go ahead and enter manually the unbrace length of each member. Now these options are available for columns, they're available for beams, and also braces within your system. Now at this point, this concludes our process for reviewing the global criteria for compression flange bracing and also learning how to assign flange bracing and unbrace length on a member by member basis in the RAM frame steel post processor.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.